Hey guys, this is Jason, and in this episode of First Things First, we're going to take a look at using linear servos with the Rev Expansion Hub. So the question is, how do you use a linear servo with the Rev Expansion Hub? And the answer is simple. You use it just like you would use a servo. The output motion just happens to be linear. To illustrate this point, I have a simple bit of code that just toggles back and forth between two different PWM signals. And I have an Actuonics linear servo and a Hitech HS488HB servo. And I have a Y harness so that I can send the same PWM signal to both of them at the exact same time. And I have that running through a PWM meter from servocity.com. And while the PWM meter is not legal in your final robot, it is a great tool, just like a multimeter, is able to read that PWM signal and give you a simple readout. So let's go ahead and run that code. And you'll see that the linear servo and the rotational servo both operating uh, off of that same PWM signal. You'll notice that the, the standard servo is quite a bit faster, so it gets to that endpoint long before the linear servo gets to its endpoint. In fact, it barely has time to even get to either of the endpoints before the code switches to the other signal. But by watching the PWM meter, you can tell exactly what's going on and that they're just responding to that same signal a little bit differently. So when you're comparing regular motors to servo motors, you'll notice that the servo has some benefits. It's a really compact way of having your motor controller built in, a closed feedback loop and absolute positioning, making them ideal for a lot of robotics applications. Whereas a regular motor does not have those things. It's just gonna rotate when you apply a voltage to it. That's the kind of the same differences between a linear actuator to a linear servo. A linear servo is going to have that motor controller built in and it's going to respond to a PWM signal. It's going to have the closed feedback loop built in with absolute positioning. So whether you're using an FTC legal linear servo like this Actuonics servo, or you're stepping up to a larger linear servo from Servo City for your non-FTC project or robot, the linear servos are going to provide you with a lot of convenience and uh, compact form factor. As always, if you have any questions, send us an email to tech at servocity.com.